Tuesday, October 9th, 2018. We're now only 28 days out from this incredibly important, obviously historic election, a referendum on nationalism and self-determination and due process and freedom versus the globalists and their corporate tyranny led by communist China, big tech, the mega banks, America hating Hollywood, and of course, the unelected tyrannical EU. Now coming up, we're going to have Owen Schroyer and others in studio, but I come to you right now with obviously the positive news that Kavanaugh was sworn in yesterday by President Trump and outgoing uh, Justice Kennedy. Very powerful footage coming up in the third segment we're going to go over. But our top story is this. The Democrats have answered the question that I was asking yesterday on air. In Politico, New York Times, you name it, they pledged to escalate their, quote, ruthlessness and their intimidation and their bullying and their war on anyone that supports President Trump and American rebirth. And there's a theme on Infowars.com today without us even trying to come up with a theme. You just see the theme in the news that is reality. And that's that so-called Antifa run by the Ford Foundation, the Rockefeller Foundation, and funded by George Soros publicly is the modern offshoot of the weather underground that Obama uh, sat under and received tutelage from. And they are escalating their violence uh, into and well past the terror zone. Now, terrorism is the threats of violence or violence to make people follow your political aims. And that is the very definition of terrorism. And Antifa takes the very scum of the earth, very low level thugs uh, who are mainly white all over the country, and they also have them in Europe. And then they go out and literally scream at other white people, you're effing white people. They block highways, they block roads, they block voting areas. And if you're old and even driving a cheap car, that is a sign that you have a car, just like Pol Pot thought of you had glasses, that you're part of the elite and an evil effing white male, as H. Skrelix famously said. And so they get in your face. So coming up in the next segment, we're going to play some of these shocking videos. In fact, I'll play a clip right now, here in just a moment, of what they're doing. And then you've got Congressman Scalise and other people being threatened with death threats. And even the editor of Raw Story came out and said, listen, you deserve it. Boo-hoo. Uh, we're coming for all of you. So I'm going to be breaking this down on the other side of this break. Uh, again, Infowars.com, Newswars.com, tomorrow's news today. Here's a clip of what's coming up. We'll be right back. Michael Savage has made the point, I've made the point, that they need to be designated as a terrorist organization and they need to be moved against because they're trying to block people's civil rights, trying to block people's freedom. Antifa is a terrorist organization of the Democratic Party, just like MS-13 is. We'll be right back. Because I told you to. Really? Mm -hmm. Don't hurt yeah, me. Yeah, brother. Just go yeah, you little white little Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You're yeah. a yeah. Yeah. Lighty, little whitey, aren't you? Yeah. The First Let's Amendment, get the down the road. Please just keep going the direction. Just please turn right please for Christ's sake. Please go the direction sake. I asked for you Jesus to go. For Jesus Christ's sake, let's turn please, right. Please, you're well, blocking yeah. traffic and they're getting busy. Oh, we're blocking traffic. You can turn. You can Are just you turn. You, you just go. Hey. Just go. Are we the one just traffic? turn, please. Please just well, Now you're going to have to wait because you got cars coming. Oh. Bro, what are we doing here? Oh, you're South Carolina. Carolina. You are a little white supremacist. Uh, North right. Carolina, huh? Right. I'm a white supremacist because I'm white. Are you kidding me? Go back to North Carolina, Carolina where you came from. from. We don't need your KKK. Are you in KKK or North Carolina? Yeah. Can someone shut the f*** up so I can speak? I got traffic. I got traffic. Hey, 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 but I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. I am your host, Alex Jones, and this is History in the Making. Our top story today is all posted to Newswars.com and Infowars.com. And there is a theme, without me even directing the writers, there are more than six major stories showing major news site editors praising the physical attack on Congressman Scalise and saying that he deserved it and praising other calls for violence 
against members of Congress's families, their wives, their children. We're going to be getting to that in a moment, but you just saw some of the footage. Obviously, a lot of beeps there, a lot of uh, F you, F that covered up. The raw footage is on Infowars.com of Portland just yesterday. Paul Watson wrote about this where the Antifa scum, the terrorist group, blocked the road and then screamed at white people, Hispanics, you name it, and said, F you, whitey. So this is the mental illness by the Nazi group that Soros funds, where if they call you a Nazi and dehumanize you, then they can physically attack you, they can gang up on you, they can do whatever they want. This is the frothing, insane, raw hate of the authoritarian left that they're projecting upon the world. We'll get to more of this video here in a moment, but here's the actual article from Infowars.com. Boo-hoo, little baby. Leftist editor mocks shooting victims, calls for civility. Steve Kalish nearly killed by a deranged Bernie supporter last year who intended to kill all 17 members of that caucus delegation. A senior editor of the Lemus publication mocked House Majority Whip Steve Scalise, Republican Louisiana's calls for civility in politics. Scalise, who was shot and nearly killed last year by a deranged leftist during a congressional baseball practice, tweeted money that the left's threats of violence against Republican politicians must stop. Well, they were sending beheading videos to people's wives saying they're going to kill them. These vicious threats have to stop. This cannot be the new normal. There's absolutely no place for violence in our political discourse, Democrat leaders need to denounce this behavior, he wrote. But, oh look, Martin Sismar of Raw Story responded, boo-hoo, little baby. And he went on to say, he's not a survivor, he's an accomplice. And then we have the link uh, in the article where Wolf Blitzer has the friend of the guy that went to shot Scalise and tried to shoot others, including Rand Paul, and they say that he's not a monster, he's a hero. So that's all on Infowars.com right now, an absolutely critical article that everyone needs to get out. It's a Jamie White article. Uh, Paul Watson has also uh, written on some of this today uh, because the left is now praising what Antifa did uh, in Portland. So they all bend over backwards to praise whatever the left does uh, on their basic paramilitary wing that is Antifa. And that's why they're protected, that's why they're praised. Of course, President Trump said, yeah, there's bad people on both sides from the white nationalist rally and the Antifa communists. Because he, he went to Homeland Security right after it happened. He said, give me a briefing. And it later came out, that's what happened. They said, well, this is a group of white nationalists and then they're there. And sir, we believe it's staged. We believe a lot of them, uh, well, we know a lot of them are Democrats just a year ago. A lot of them are in the art department, theater department. A lot of their parents are leftist. Uh, you know, connected to the intelligence agency, sir. But uh, the point is, we believe it's a synthetic operation to cause a riot. And then you've got Antifa, uh, Antifa funded by Soros, and they're basically a communist group and the weather underground shock troops of the Democrats. So they said both sides are basically bad, but both sides have their free speech. And what they do is they block cars in, they won't let people get through, and that causes people to panic and then run over folks. And that's what you basically saw. Still a very, very extreme tragedy that, again, as I've said, was funded by Soros. The police collided the two groups together uh, in that area to cause the crisis. And we have this in internal Antifa documents that George Soros' son funds, uh, where in 2015 they tried to cause martial law in Maryland uh, by having the police work with Antifa to try to get the black community to riot, but they failed. <clears throat> so again, they're mainly like an art department al almost who, 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 who go out and have authorizations in blue cities, the documents show, to go so far with police. They're even allowed to throw bottles at riot police. The police are told to stand down, again, trying to get others to riot. But now they're going to the next level. When they have full-page ads saying, rise up, remove Trump, remove Pence from office, they are accelerating towards not just hitting people in the head with bike locks or stabbing people or beating people with metal batons as their favorite thing. And then, of course, Proud Boys and others have stood up to them, so they're called terrorists by the media for actually being defensive. Uh, and so now Michael Savage has come out and called on Trump to order arrest of Antifa members. And he goes over the fact that they're the new weather underground, that they're basically a bunch of professors and government operatives that are leading it and government bureaucrats, and that's why they're protected. And that they're a clear and present danger to this nation. The full video is up on Infowars.com. I think they've declared themselves 
to be a terrorist organization, Savage said, pointing to a story from last month about how Antifa members strategized how they could carry out, quote, ambushes and assassinations to further their political agenda. They're absolutely a domestic terror group. What else can anyone call them? And why are we going to sit here and let them go ahead and carry all this out? And he says, they smear and try to destroy anybody who stands in their way, first verbally and now physically. They're absolutely on the war path. There's very little op opposition. So that's what's happening here is the Democrats have announced in Politico, we're going to get even more ruthless and they're going to use their modern weather underground types, their shock troops, <coughs> to trigger the violence just like they did at Kent State two weeks ago when Millie Weaver covered it, or a week and a half ago, they were trying to get a riot going. They were throwing plastic hand grenades that weren't real hand grenades and bottles and, 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 and hitting the police and hitting the uh, open carry group, trying to get them to shoot them. And they were even announcing, you're going to shoot me like Kent State before, you're the government, and all this crazy crap when it was the Antifa that basically wants a big government uh, to totally take over. So this is a huge time to be alive, ladies and gentlemen, and with 28 days left of the election, you know they're going to get a lot more violent and try to provocateur events. And I believe, because they've already preconditioned everybody, that they are going to attack a school or a university or a media institution using deep cover operatives that will then be blamed on patriot domestic groups as an attempt to make the Democrats look like the victims. We know that... Uh, Bill Clinton and, 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 and criminal elements uh, of the Justice Department carried out Oklahoma City bombing, and Bill Clinton said he got reelected uh, because that bombing happened. He was 15 points behind uh, until that bombing happened. He said that on Air Force One to USA Today and others. And so when you see them all over the news saying, Alex Jones says use battle rifles on the media and kill the media, but they never show any video or any photos or any text, you know that that is preconditioning to first silence me before they stage the event and then clearly blame InfoWars. And many other analysts have come to the same conclusion uh, that I'm being set up and being prepared for a massive false flag event and then the entire liberty movement will follow. First they demonize me, then they uh, have people not stand up for me, and then that way when the terror attack comes and is blamed on me, you won't stand up for me, other talk show hosts, other media, other conservatives, other nationalists, and then, like dominoes, it'll all be blamed on you. Just like Bill Clinton, two hours after the Oklahoma City building uh, got blown up by his own operatives, blamed talk radio and Rush Limbaugh and called for it to be shut down. So we're going to go to break with some more of what happened in Portland, the incredible footage, and we're going to come back with even more of it on the other side. Then we've got some clips of President Trump uh, as well. I'm Alex Jones, Infowars.com, Newswars.com. We'll be right back. Please stay with us. part of life. Work, family, friends, and everyday accidents can put a lot of strain on the body and your mood. Don't let life weigh you down. Happies is a powerful mood and stress support formula that has your back against life's daily inconveniences. Made with ancient ingredients used for thousands of years, Happies can help you take back the day. With our powerhouse formula, Happies can be an important part of your daily supplement routine. 
With poor diet and the constant on and off of your work life, it's more important than ever to support your body in the fight against stress. With powerful ingredients combined to help support the mind and body, Happies helps support during stress, promotes overall well-being, and helps support your mood. Don't live your life bogged down. Help your body overcome the effects of daily stress and pressure today with Happies from InfoWarsStore.com.